Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow 33 bringing you a match between God and Saktoth on Flooded Valley. This map is very much full of water, and it's a map that really showcases Zero K's C play. And now, C play in Zero K is really full of hard counters. It's not a situation that's the best, but it does basically boils down to three things. You have with water. You have above water, on the water, which is ships, above water is hovercraft and air, on water ships, and you have underwater, which is submarines, also built by the Sea Factory. Now, the thing about all this is stuff above water can't hit stuff below water and vice versa, and stuff on the water can sort of hit everything depending on its weapon types. But basically, and as you can see, amphibious bots also underwater and being built up. God going straight for sea, Sactoth avoiding the sea entirely, not a bad idea, building up on the land and getting underwater units, because underwater has kind of the best advantage. I mean, if hovercraft are built, amphibious boss can't deal with them unless amphibious boss are on the land, but with ships, amphibious boss can deal with them underwater. If a duck goes underwater, it can deal with this Skeeter here just fine. The Skeeter can't touch it. Now, of course, there are ships that do have torpedoes and will be able to touch it, but that's... Well, that will be a concern. This hunter here will be definitely a concern for that. But it's basically a matter of whether or not this duck gets in the right positions at the right time. Because it can get rid of the Skeeter for free, pretty much. And it appears to be doing so. Or at least planning on doing so. Or as best it can, the torpedo's not quite able to hit. Trying their best and able to hit somewhat. But it's just a matter of the Skeeter can get out of the way. Quite quick unit. Now, at this point, Sakdoth's just going to be building up this area, reclaiming all these rocks here. Probably moving a constructor, one of these clams here, over to other metal extractor points. While God goes over, and you can see there's a fair amount of metal in the water as well. So God's probably going to try to claim all that, though admittedly, that'd be a difficult thing to do. Sakdoth really has the advantage here, given that he has claimed underwater. No submarines are here. There is a torpedo frigate. That will be effective, but the ducks are... It's still going to be tough to deal with. As long as they can get away from the Torpedo Frigate, they will be fine getting rid of all the Skeeters around here. And more importantly, if they get rid of the Sea Factory and the Mariner, that will heavily damage everything here. And another Skeeter going down. So more ducks coming in. Sackdoth really pushing this duck assault, and that's the best thing to do. And of course, once the ducks are out of the water, they don't have to worry about the Torpedo Frigate. And when they're in the water, they do have to worry about it, but... At this point, I think there might be enough of them to... Okay, two to frigate, torpedo frigates will be too much, but still. Enough of them are harassing quite well. God having a hard time dealing with this in the ground. He does not have enough metal. Sakdoth, wisely, whoever was getting a lot of metal, especially from Reclaim. Both players are about even, ultimately, though, thanks to Reclaim. And... Looks like Sakdoth is building up in the water as well, sending his commander over to the center of the map and picking up some metal as he can. God was reclaiming from the center of the map, but he is pretty much out of Reclaim there. Well, from the center, he still has him reclaim over in his base, which he is taking full advantage of. The ducks appear to have been killed. Unfortunately, I missed that. That would have been a good battle, but looks like God's commander probably got rid of them. The important thing, though, is they are pushing God down. He is still behind in metal. Sactile is still quite a ways ahead. I mean, it's just a matter of reclaim at this point. This map is very heavy for the reclaim. It doesn't have a lot of metal spots, as we saw. And at this point, Sactile, however, has three... Or, sorry, four to God's... Zero. So that's not even a difficult question of who is winning at this point. It's just a question of the fact that Sakdoth does have overwater taken. Or on the water, rather, he has taken. And while God does have underwater... Sorry, Sakdoth does have underwater, which means that God will have a hard time building metal extractors on the water. God can also stop Sakdoth from building... From getting out onto the islands to build metal extractors. And can still stop metal extractors in the water. Both players are preventing the water from being used. At this point, what... I mean, really, all they can really do is try to eliminate the other's factory, which is much easier for Sactoth to do than God, given that Sactoth is quite a ways inland. I suppose if God made a hovercraft factory, he could get along from there, because hovercrafts wouldn't be affected by the amphibious units, and they could get over to this factory and deal with it. It would be tricky to do, but it would be powerful. However, it would require building another factory, which, at this point, God does not have the economy to do. Looks like he's just instead going for the defensive, trying to keep his main base protected, trying to keep his... and succeeding in keeping his shipyard defended quite well. The problem, however, is Sakdoth is getting an economic advantage in the center as God turtles. 
The god is doing what he can to reclaim and get his economy going, despite the fact that he has no metal or one metal extractor. And at this point, Saktoth not taking advantage of the fact that he has the underwater taken. He's been losing a lot of ducks, keeping them over water. I guess defending the metal extractors, but unfortunately for him, the skeeters can hit them just fine when they're above water like that. So he's losing a lot of ducks, and you don't really want to lose any of the ducks. They are fairly expensive. Granted, ships are all very expensive individually, but skeeters are not expensive compared to du ducks. They're about half the cost. Like 100 metal to 220... No, 180. Never mind. So it's still about half the cost. And that's not a good trade-off for Sackdoth. Losing another duck right here to another set of skeeters as soon as they find it. And that duck, able to damage one of them a fair bit, but going down in one hit, unfortunately for him. And now, looks like submarines are... No, it's not a submarine, I don't think. But still, Sakdoth is losing the water battle, and that's all this map is about, is the water. He did not keep his ducks alive well enough, and that's... Probably trying to avoid the Trapeda Frigate. Not a bad idea. I mean, I can definitely see why he'd want to do that. It's just... The Skeeters are a major threat above ground. And that's losing him a lot overall, given the fact that he just cannot deal with them well enough. There's too many of them, and they're taking out all of his units as they come in. As soon as they find this, Bowie doing a decent job surviving, but that's just because of his high health. Really, at this point, God is taking the advantage. Sackdoth ultimately losing the water, and he could he could still get back if he had gunships that would help if he built up... I mean, ducks would not really be the way to go from here. Amphibious bots... I suppose could go for Grizzly. They're only, they're, their main utility unit is the Grizzly, but in this case, that would probably not do a great job. The Actually, the Boo is doing a decent job. Though, still not great. It's able to take care of the Hunter decently well due to its health, so Boo's might not be a bad idea, although Boo's mixed with Ducks would probably be the best con idea. Given that, however, this Crusader coming in, that will be able to take out Sackdoth's base, and it looks like he is reclaiming the Amphibious... Bot Factory, and going instead for Annihilator. Very early super weapon, although admittedly, this map has just been weird, so it's not surprising. Reclaiming the Amphibious Operations Plant for an Annihilator. This is basically like the Hovercraft Penetrator unit, the very powerful beam unit, as a defense turret. But why he's doing this is beyond me. This is a very strange play. Just surprising he's not going for another factory, instead just reclaiming his Amphibious Plant to build this, but even then, it's taking too long, and it has been spotted! The Crusader, able to get rid of it, or should be able to get rid of it in time, at the very least able to attack the commander and able to deal enough damage to it that it's going to be a problem building up this thing. It's... I mean, the ETA is even too low at this point. Sackdoth does not have the funds to even afford it, losing his main base to God's ships. God managing to turn this around very effectively, I've got to say. For... Also, he built, getting some terraforming over. Sackdoth is terraforming up a wall trying to protect his commander. But he is fighting a losing battle. God has taken map control. He has everything. He actually is getting some metal extractors around the map. In fact, he has most of the map taken at this point. All those signed metal extractors are his. And that is huge. So right now, God has pretty much won this game. Sackdoth, it's just a matter of realizing this. Trying to build more Annihilators, but even that's not going to be enough. The Crusader's one-shotting pretty much everything he has in his base, and that will finish him off. If this Geothermal Plant goes down, then he will go, I'm sure, if not sooner. I imagine he will be leaving sooner than that, but... If that Geothermal Plant goes down, everything else will go down with it, including his Commander. Those Commander getting shot at and getting hit, this is pretty much game. So nice use of ships by God, I gotta say, that was... A bit tense. At first, I thought the Ducks would be able to tear him apart, but unfortunately, they did not attack enough into... They attacked the base somewhat well enough, and the commander going down, sacked the losing his commander. You know, they attacked the base well enough, but they did not attack the shipyard, which is really the target he needed to attack. So, that was a demonstration of sea play. Actually, a pretty good demonstration of sea play. It wasn't quite as lopsided as it can be. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll be back soon with another game, so stay tuned.